The uh, underrated Style City Brewery or Country. What's underrated. not getting its props? Style Czech Republic City Brewery Czech, yeah, say that, or Country. What, whatever you, comes to mind. Yeah, Jack? Canada doesn't get any props anymore. I feel like Canada doesn't get enough props. Uh, not enough, maybe. Man, all okay, right. I'm going to... I'm doing it. Molson a... is one of the best beers ever. What is? Molson. Just Molson Canadian. <laughs> Go punch it. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is Steve Certified Brew Head. And I am Scott Beer, Cool Beer Enthusiast. And welcome to episode 56 of Beer Nation, the podcast. And, mate, today we're in Detroit representing. And we're here with uh, Stephen and Jason Abatch. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, joining us today. Thanks, thank you man. Yes, really yeah. appreciate it. Uh, cool city, man. We haven't been back for like we haven't five, five years. Five ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's not at all different. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it's five years ago. Yeah. Seems a little cooler. Seems <laughs> a little, yeah. little cooler. See some minor changes in yeah. the city. Yeah, yeah. like streetlights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they filled a couple potholes from last time. Uh, yeah. Just a couple. No, it's a cool city, man. I, I like the vibe here, and uh, I feel like it's up and coming, and a ton of cool stuff. Obviously. The micro, uh, the craft beer scene is booming, and you guys are a big part of that. So, do you want to explain yeah. a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do? Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Batch Brewing Company started as kind of a, an idea from not being able to homebrew anymore. I was a pretty avid home brewer, and I moved from the Burbs, where I had a driveway and a basement and a garage to make messes into the city into uh, a loft and couldn't really humber or make those messes anymore. So uh, I was going to open a really small uh, nano brewery and started doing a crowdfunding campaign. And Jason, a longtime buddy, reached out in the middle of the crowdfunding campaign and was like, I'm done doing my thing. And so he was in St. Louis at the time. And uh, he reached out in the middle of the crowdfunding campaign. <laughs> you, you have anything to add? Here you go. Do you that agree was... with all sex statements? <laughs> uh, yeah, so far so good. <laughs> Basically, I just reached the point in my life where my daughter was going off to college and I didn't need my job anymore. Right. And I didn't particularly like my job, so it was time for me to do something for me. And I knew I wanted to come home. I wanted to come back to Detroit. But, uh, you know, five years ago, there wasn't that many jobs to be had in Detroit. Right. So uh, basically what I did is I reached out to Steven when I seen his crowdfunding campaign and said, uh, what I, how about I give you the balance of what you need for your crowdfunding campaign and you just hire me to pour beers at your bar right. just until I could figure out what I want to do. And he said, well, you know, with your background, I was in beverage packaging. And, you know, he said, if you want to do that, why don't we talk about making you a partner? And, you know, I flew home and we talked about it. We had another business partner at the time in another building. You know, and it all just, you know, seemed serendipitous at the time, and it seemed like a perfect timing, so I basically went back to St. Louis and packed my shit and left. There you go. That's awesome. came home. Yeah. Did you, I swear I saw the crowdfunding campaign. Did you guys do, like, a TV show or something? Was someone, did someone film no, you're, uh, it? No, you're, uh... That sounds really familiar. Your smoking oh, jacket bit. Yeah, well, so <laughs> there was the crowdfunding video thing, for sure, and then we got some coverage afterwards. Mashable did this, um... That, start, so, yeah. It was a startup series. building a whole, series or something. a bunch of different businesses in, yeah. in Detroit. Well, so, well, no, that one was coverage of two businesses. One, it was Austin, Detroit, and then it was... Um, San Francisco. I, yeah, it was, uh... Yeah. It was a um, Malaysian, yeah, uh, restaurant, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were going to all the food festivals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was sick. Okay, so that's yeah. what I knew you guys. All right. Yeah. But they didn't tell. I, like, they told us about it. Shout out to Dave. They like, told us about you guys, like, you know, hey. so, you know, so, hey. a little while ago. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. So how long ago did you guys open? Like, when was that? When was uh, the crowdfunding yeah. side? We, we officially opened our doors in uh, early in 2015. We did a bunch of events in 2014. We were in business, but soft openings and things like that in 2014. Okay. Um, but, yeah, we did the crowdfunding campaign. I think it started late 2012, early 2013. We won a business incubator contest later that year. Bought this building in March of, 2014, March of 2014, and it took a little bit less than a year to build out and get up and running. So mm -hmm. we were operating, like, officially open February 2015, and, uh, yeah, so it's been, you know, we've been in business for about five years, but we've been open, fully-fledged for, two like, years. two and a half years. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And then, so then, Jason, you, you I guess, became a partner straight away, and you just went, then looked back? Pretty much. Yeah. There was a there was a previous location and a previous business partner, and you know we worked on that for nine months. We worked on his building for free. I mean, we were 
building was it the one out from the TV building. then? That was the one. The um, yes, that building. Well, no, no, no. Actually, the the, uh, uh, the the video series documented us starting to build that one out. The the no, the Mashable one. series no, this one. was this one. Oh. Yeah, 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 okay, totally. Right. So yeah, I mean, as you walk around this place and you look at it, you look at anything in here. Like we did that, wow. you know, us and a uh, Chef Matt and you know Pat, who's our head sellerman, and one of our investors, some, one of our investors, Jeremy, and some volunteers. Like this right. was, you know, we hired a couple of you know licensed tradespeople because we sure. had two electricians Electrician and plumbers, plumbers, but like right. we did all the schlepping and all the you know hard labor and all the Twice. demo. Yeah, a couple of. Did them, you somehow. come from a construction background, or was this kind of like none no, whatsoever? Or Zero percent. Yeah. yeah, I just had. To make, I mean, we made a lot of like, mistakes. Yeah. 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 A fair amount of mistakes, but none of them were like detrimental. Detrimental. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we spent four days with a mastic tool grinding the tile off the floor, and then we decided to, decided cut to get the rid of the concrete. Uh, so. oh, the yes, it is a fucking. <laughs> uh, hey, while we're talking, you guys yes, want to drink that's a beer? What we yeah. Do. yeah. yeah. We're we're so, beer. Well, it's really you give us a microphone, we're going to talk. Yeah. So we'll just, <laughs> Let's like, get this going. So, what do you want to stop? We can well, multitask. No, yeah, yeah, normally, normally mm-hmm. I would. Wait for something hoppy at the end, but this beer is not particularly bitter. It's you know more aromatic and flavorful. And since these are in pitchers, let's just start with these, yeah, and yeah. then we'll open the bottled stuff. Um, this beer is called Palewise, Pale and Wise. yeah, it is a um, actually the base beer is a Kolsch, so it's a very clean fermentation that we Thanks. dry hop the fuck out of nice. in the you know in mid late fermentation so it you know kept a lot of uh, protein and suspension and it's got some of that like it's a little bit of that haze that for whatever reason people want to see in the hoppy <laughs> beers like it's gonna come up in it is yeah well no doubt um, <laughs> but uh, it's really clean it's not particularly bitter um, and you're going to notice this isn't like juicy. It's not fruity. It's like it's it's uh, got some tropical, mm-hmm. you know, fruit so, to it, but it also has a little bit of dankness to it. It it doesn't smell dissimilar from like you know a, like a kind of a West Coast or a traditional you know uh, uh, an American IPA, um, but it drinks not bitter. It's it's very flavorful, very aromatic, and then it's not particularly bitter. So mm-hmm. this is Pale Wise. Cheers, Cheers yes. guys. Yeah. Get it in ya. Well, that's wicked. Oh, I thought we were doing shots. <laughs> <laughs> so we do These are shot do. glasses, aren't they? <laughs> I do a beer vlog too. Yeah. Quick, quick photo. And we do this constantly. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is great. This is really juicy, actually. It's much more juicy than I anticipated. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it was a it was a fun beer. Uh, we treat the brewery a lot like a scratch kitchen, where you start with concepts, and along the way, if you decide you want to nudge it in a different direction, which is different than your you know original plan. You're tasting, you know, the beer as it's fermenting, or you taste the wort and you say like, wow, it'd be really cool if like sometimes it's get on a, get on the phone with a supplier and track down some you know. Uh, you know, some some you know f- uh, fruit concentrate or something, or you yeah. decide to go in this direction with a dry hop instead of another one. Um, that's kind of our ethos around here. Every batch of beer that we do is an opportunity to uh, experiment and evolve what we're doing. Even beers that are kind of set recipes that are set, we're still thinking about like how do we want to alter the water profile yeah, or get attached to anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, it's like you guys are constantly revolving uh, the the rotation. Like, is it much that like? Is that like a foundation? Yeah, do you have your mainstay beers or, and then nope. your seasonal? Got a couple beers that, that are on rotation. Empire. Yeah, Audacity. Um, Anton's Animals. Um, you know, there's some seasonal beers. Handsome Stranger, the Hibiscus Saison, that comes around right around opening day, spring, summer. Um, Low End Theory, fall. our black IPAs, fall, winter. You know, some Imperial Stouts right. that have like kind of seasonal launch dates. Dave but likes it. We don't have... Dave's into that one. Like, black IPA. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> there, there are like two beers that are like typically available in the tap room because people want them, but just because we have Audacity all the time, which is like a Kolsch, doesn't mean that we're distributing it into the marketplace here around it. Right. Like, you still get a lot of people who come in before games and stuff and say, well, normally I drink domestic beer. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anything that's lighter? So that's why we have a cold shot. That's fair enough. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I guess people... You don't want to run them out the door just because everything you have is like a hot blast. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. We have a responsibility it's to like, make... I like the audacity. Yeah, it's a great totally. beer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, you, 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 you want to make beer that people want to drink, right? Yeah. You have a You have a responsibility to run a successful business. Mm-hmm. And as much as you want to experiment, you also need to try and make people happy. Right. Uh, the culture is our yellow fizzy beer, you know, and we <laughs> always have a hop forward beer on. And if you can do those two things well, 
you know, a lot of people are going to be happy. And yes, then it gives exactly. us a lot of room to run and experiment. We just want to make the best fucking possible mm -hmm. example of the thing that we're working on. We want It's going to always be natural. And after that, we want to make the most enjoyable thing to drink. Right. And whether it's a big fucking barley wine or it is a session IPA or it's a fruited wheat beer, like we want it to be fun to drink. Right? Like when you finish and you go like, fuck, I need another one of yeah. those. Yeah. And that's, that is the end goal of any beer that we make. This was so good, I want to drink another one. And if we're able to do that with every beer that we're making, then we've been successful. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you guys definitely, you guys are doing the whole spectrum. Like sometimes breweries do, maybe they kind of specialize and stuff, but like literally even just today we've had almost every sort of like representation, maybe aside from the dark beers and stuff. You know, there was that sours. one beer that I wanted to I wanted to cap it off with, which is a cool story. I don't oh. know how much time we got left. Oh, right? yeah, as much time as I'm going to go grab a beer. Hang tight. Yeah. 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 So Get the beer slushies. The slushies too. Slushies oh, too. The slushies too. Yeah. Too much. Which is the coolest yeah. idea. Where did the slushy idea come from? Uh, slushy idea came from we did a Kentucky Derby party, and uh, we wanted to. It was hot out, and we just wanted to do something different to right. you know drive people, and we decided to try a beer slushy, and it was so popular that instead of returning the machine on Monday, we kept it until the following Monday just right. to see, and all week long people were drinking it. And like, loving it and, you know, reviewing <clears throat> it. We were seeing little blurbs of people talking, oh, my God, nice. you got to get down there and try this, you know. So we called the company. We said, we want to buy this machine, you know. And the guy said, absolutely. This is what I've been trying to do is trying to get people to, like, reimagine <laughs> right. these machines. Like, you, did something fun you know, not just right. Slurpees. Like, I want, you know, I want to use it for alcohol. And uh, I want to be able to market it to people with alcohol. So. It's really cool. I've, I've had the, like what they call an iceberg, which is like you, you pour a pint of lager and you top it off with like a, a kind of a lemon slushy type thing, and you drink oh, it really? like that. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Toronto. Yeah, it's a, I don't know if a it's a Toronto thing. thing. Right. So we did it at the, we worked at a bar together years ago, and um, uh, Jack Astor's. I don't know if they have no, they have Jack's nice. here. Oh, Buffalo is one of Buffalo. No, there is. Yeah. Uh, anyways, it's uh, just like a, a chain kind of pub restaurant place, bar grill. And they started doing, they had this frozen raspberry twister cocktail, which was like a vodka cocktail with raspberry and, and lemon uh, slushy topped with a Zinfandel. But some guy had the good idea to pour some of the, the lemon ice on top of a lager and you're mm -hmm. sitting on the patio, this thing comes out with a big mountain of ice on top and like it's blazing Perfect. hot, yeah. it's, yeah. it's exactly what you and want, right? You can right? see through it, it's kind of like you close the iceberg, yeah. you can see the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And then it's like kind of floating on top and cool. as you drink it, it kind of blends in. So yeah. it's, it's cool, I mean, it's a beer cocktail. I'm not one for beer cocktails yeah. necessarily, but I mean, if you do it right, it's, it has its place at its time. So I'm really yeah. interested to try this. It's a strawberry Kolsch that's on right now. Is that strawberry what it is? Kolsch strawberry Kolsch is on right Kolsch now, yes. So that was my next question. The Margarita we did at the festival was, I think, the most popular one. Did you have that, Dave? Nope. No. no. So hey, you have multiple ones? It's not just like one? You just switch out what's uh, on? Just like when we brew, we just come up with different shit we want to try. Yeah, that's um, sick. I think the last I, one. The, I the blood in, we did a blood in... Blood orange. Uh, the Anton's animals with raspberry was really good in the session. I had My favorite though is Miss Sally. Miss Sally was a beer that Alex came up with that uh, he kind of got a lot of shit about. People were you know doubting his recipe, right. and it was uh, a peach tea beer. Nice. nice. And Sounds it was awesome. you know everybody's like eh, it's, people aren't going to like this, you yeah. know. And I'm like Mike's Hard Lemonade sells to everybody like, and that's oh, yeah. a terrible product. <laughs> it is a very terrible. <laughs> Agreed. It's Agreed. One drink heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> So he made that beer and we put it in the slushy machine just as was, you know, as it sat. And it was my Amazing. favorite. It was nice. my favorite thing that you nice. know, we've done here so far, probably. Wow. Is it as go. simple as brewing a beer, putting it in the slushy machine and turning it? You have to add sugar. Yeah, you have to right. you know, add sugar. You have to, you know, there's a... Right, a balance. And there's, there's a balance. You have some to water in with. there. And so Alex like was that. saying, like, he's uh, somebody who was... Maybe it was the guy that you guys got the machine from, and he's like, it's people who tried to do this before and just didn't could come not out right. figure out how to do it the right. Way. And uh, you guys were one of the first ones to really figure out it's how to make it a real beer slushy. We're really fortunate to be up. around a yeah. bunch. Like, the people we employ are actual beer dorks. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're the best they people to have. Dork. They, get, <laughs> they get, I mean, they get off on, like, coming up with shit that, you know, people fucking love. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's part of what we do. And they're, uh, they're crazy about it. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. All right, all right, all right. All right. I like beer dogs. This is a yeah, beer dog. I want to get a beer dog shirt. Beer geeks. Beer, beer nerds, beer geeks, yeah. beer dork. All right. All of the above. Yeah, would you? Oh, Thanks, sweet. man. Thanks so much, man.
and then they can, you know, have more glasses in circulation. Okay, you yeah. like, stack them up. It took 16 glasses. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I'll just hold on to this one. You think you got it? Yeah. You got it? Fancy pants. This excites so, uh, me what's happening. I saw yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. Oh, yeah. You got it? Sweet, man. Awesome. What All right. is going on here? So, our second to last beer is called a is a beer called Second to Last Word. Okay. Uh, back in the days, um, pre-prohibition, uh, there was a cocktail that was created in Detroit at a place called the Detroit Athletic Club, which is uh, still there, still, still there, back to yeah, okay. still exists. And this is one of the cocktails that was kind of rediscovered during the cocktail rebirth. Okay. Uh, the cocktail is called the Last Word. It's right. gin, it's chartreuse, oh, that's lime true. juice, and it's a maraschino liqueur, liqueur, and it's served with a Luxardo cherry. This is our beer called the second to last word. And it's also served, I just bumped the microphone. It's also served with a Luxardo cherry. This is a sour beer, some nice clean acidity, um, made with um, gin and absinthe botanicals that we get from our friends at Two James. Uh, and a ton of lime peel, and we serve with this Luxardo cherry. So, second to last word is about as Detroit dork as it gets, right? <laughs> a Detroit beer made with botanicals from a Detroit yeah. distillery, Based which is an homage to a Detroit <laughs> cocktail. So, full on Detroit dorkery. Yeah, cheers. I'll so get in here on this one. Cheers. Dave, uh, cheers. Cheers, cheers Bear. Oh, my oh, Lord. Yeah. Get that in you. Yeah, tell you what, uh, just so you guys That's have a point of conspiracy, yeah, this is great. First time I ever tried that one. Fuck off. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> uh, if you guys end up in a cocktail bar, I don't know if this is your last stop today, or you guys done, but like. I uh, know we're today and tomorrow. You going to Ann Arbor though? Uh, tonight, I'll see Holmes. You've seen Holmes, but you're going to be in Ann Arbor. There's oh, like, there's, so there's a, there's a cocktail bar in Ann Arbor called The Last Word. And while you're there, get their last word. Then you'll be able to compare this. To the, right. Yeah, there you go. See them play with it. Style, so like, you yeah. know, if you don't know where it is, there's no sign that says right. what is the last word. Except for like it's downstairs from live, right? It's, yeah, it's right around the corner. Yeah. You can get in, in and out from live. Like the European bars, like in the Czech Republic. You're yeah, walking around, you're like, like what the fuck are you? Yeah. don't know where it is. You want to try this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's gin-ish oh, things in okay, it. So. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, did you say gin? Yeah. Did you say gin? It's, it's, a, it's a beer called the second to last word. It's uh, created. Lots of herbs. It's an homage to a, to a to a gin cocktail. Yeah, yeah. I love this so much. Yeah, yeah. Man. It's so good. Glad you're digging it. Make sure you eat that cherry because like Luxardo cherries, man. Yeah, absolutely. We actually have a lot of people who come in here that don't drink beer that they will order that beer. Yeah. I just love it. And they'll you know, just sip on it while their husband or you know, wife. Like, like, yeah. Definitely. Licorice. That's the yeah. absinthe. So uh, it's got uh, anise seed and yes. star anise in it. Both anise seed and star anise. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's sourness got the lime and then the sourness of the beer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Lime, that's it, man. This is fantastic. There's so much going on. Is there any sort of like tea? There's almost like a tea um, well, I mean, feeling to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you know, those, those botanicals that are... In the, in the spectrum of gin and, and herbal teas and yep. stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah, such a cool idea. Man, this is like, like you guys were saying earlier as well as asking if you make your stuff you want to drink, like you guys are most certainly doing it. 100%. The, look, I guess the, the weirdest shit that I've seen for a while, and it's fucking awesome. Because I feel like it's people either go either way, or it's kind of just stick more to the traditional thing, and there's nothing wrong with either or, but it is cool as the be a dog since the new one. <laughs> no one says dogs anymore. I know. It's done. Nerds are geeks, but nerds, nerds are geeks. Now no, we're nerds. Dogs. dogs are so 80s. I we'll love bring that, that back. Okay. Um, I feel like it's really cool like just to have, like some people don't really like the fun. I know people like, you know, I guess you said not into like the milkshake IPAs. I think it's cool because it's ridiculous. It's so, so and ridiculous. The, and this is ridiculous. Well, I tell you, <laughs> this, this one is like, is like, I would I would put this on the spectrum of like a very deliberate artistic homage, but the next thing that we're going to drink is full is ridiculous. fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we got one more and then we're done. Yeah, so we go, my wife and I have been to breweries though and I walk in and I'll see, you'll normally see an IPA, a yeah. stout. An amber reporter. An amber reporter. Yeah. Yeah. A lot and I think it's fucking yeah. boring. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'll try their beer just to see, you know, if they're true to Maybe style and if they're sure. making good. I mean, but does it, it doesn't like get doesn't excite you. Nothing yeah. to blow your skirt I want to be excited. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. kind of the one thing I like about, like the, like I said, the Northeast IPAs and, and milkshake IPAs and all that shit is that it's just new and interesting. I, I know we're going to get over it soon. Yeah. But it's just cool because it's like, 
I don't know, something different for now. I have a thing I'm, for fruited beers too. When I see yeah, if you, anything you can make really fruit? good fruited beers, like that sour or whatever, or like that excites me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I want uh, that even great this beer. Being a strawberry like culture, it excites me. Yeah. Yeah. You did the strawberry blonde that we had when we were in the. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, the best seller by far, and it's been that way for a while. Nice. That's why they turned it into a year rounder. Right. It because people kills them. want that stuff, right? And it's high, it's high ABV, so it's. <laughs> So it's like something a bit ballsy. I feel like it, it sort of still speaks to because, like, what you're saying, like those type of boring traditional ones. Like, that I feel like there's some places that I have, say, in Montreal or Toronto, if I had some out of towners who aren't super beer nerds, I take them to these safer places because I'm like, you know, I don't want to scare them because usually the places who do crazy shit don't have that many safe options. Right. And they might be overwhelmed. It might be too much crazy shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, we tried to line on balance. We tried all the lines. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like I said, we have the Audacity, which is a 4%, you know, fizzy yellow grandpa beer. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have this. You and know, that is and everything phenomenal. in between. But I feel like a, a non-beer. Oh, my lord. That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> that is that crazy. Crazy. the best part? So, like, you get the pink straw. You, you get the, yeah, <laughs> totally. That's fine. I'm not scared. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the last one, and this definitely we can chalk up to a little bit of ridiculousness. We threw a uh, a Kentucky Derby party. I don't know if the I Canadians and the Australians. Yeah, oh, well, then I'm not going to reiterate. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we know yeah. the Kentucky Derby is we have the Melbourne Cup. Right there you from, go. So I know the Kentucky Derby horse race. Everyone gets way too dressed up. And yeah. Drunk as well. We're silly Fuckers, hats. Yeah. Silly hats and whatnot. Yeah. I'll go along for a 90 second. Oh, 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 no. Come on, oh, oh, oh. Dave, get in. No, I'm oh, yeah. All right, now we're going back in. There Five is. grown men drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is hey what guys. I want to do in Detroit. Thanks for coming out. Thank you Cheers, for guys. Us, Absolutely. Really it. Cheers, guys. Fucking get in you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Strawberry Kolsch. Wow. Oh, yeah. Boys, that's uh, that's it. Really Legendary man. That was right a fantastic. Uh, Thank chat. you for right having us. Thank you, Cheers, man. man. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers, man. Love, Love talking to you man. guys. Apollo. Oh, gentlemen. Where can they find you guys online? Batchbrewingcompany.com. Dot com. I'm and on beautiful. Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison, Ashley check him out on Ashley Madison. Jason's profile is beautiful. His face looks What's alive. I'm trying to cheat on my wife. Yeah. What's you using? <laughs> You're into fat guys. <laughs> I'm I do stuff. Fat guys are facial hair. I'll hit stuff. you up. He's in. I'll DM you. And delicious uh, craft beer. <laughs> you guys are fucked. I love yeah. it. <laughs> you check guys are that. fucked. <laughs> in the best way possible. In the best way possible. Yeah, 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 minus yeah. the Molson car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah seriously. Yeah. Almost yeah. walked off. What's the best time you've had a Molson? I'll tell you what. That was beautiful. I love that. I can love it. Uh, thank you guys for checking it out. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hit thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, subscribe. Follow us on social media at the AOS Podcast. And uh, subscribe to the podcast because, what, you get to hear cool Let's shit about these guys. For, uh, and uh, come to Detroit. It's really, really cool. Represent. Let me good. back into Ooh. Canada, please. Please, Canada. Thank you, A. In. And give me PR at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can, we can do like a double thing. All right, guys. Cheers. Peace. Peace.